We're doing uh, rows and columns today in HTML. You gotta have bootstrap for this to work, otherwise the classes I use, you would not be able to use as well. So, we're gonna go through rows, and each row has 12 columns, as you can see right here. And it's gonna go the whole width of the page, and we're gonna do a little image and some text to the right, like you see on most websites. And you can also do rows inside rows. So let's go ahead and get started with the code. So the first thing we're going to do is wrap everything in a big div and make this class container fluid. And this will be the whole width of the page. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to add a row, which in Bootstrap, the class for that is just row. And in this row, we can add some text and say row one. And the class on this P is just going to be text-center and fw-bold. So if you want to save that and you can run it locally, I'm using Angular, so ng-serve. And now we will go to the localhost and you can see row one. And if you want to inspect the element, you can see that in all the blue, that's the whole row. So let's add columns to that row. So let's add columns to the row. And if you just want to do div, and this class is going to be column-4. Now if it's four columns and each row has 12 columns, we are going to do 12 divided by 4, which is 3. So we can just do this three times. And we can do another P element. And we can say class. If I could ever get it right and just say text-center. And this will be 1 through 4. And we'll have 5 through 8, and then 9 through 12. 5 through 8, 9 through 12. And you can see that we have 1 through 4, 5 through 8, 9 through 12. Now you're probably wondering what will happen if you go over the limit. It won't keep on going where it's off screen. It'll just overlap and wrap. So if we did column 4 again and again, you can suspect it's going to be right here and then right here. So that's the cool thing. So if you ever just keep on overlapping, especially like you're setting a new row, but you're not, right? So as you can see, it's still all the same row, but it'll just keep on overlapping. So let's do another one and we can do, I'll show you all 12 of them. So we'll do div and this will be row two. P class text as center. Now we'll do FW fold as well. We'll go row two. And so we're going to do some type of little structure here. For Angular, it's ng4. Maybe for React or whatever you're using, uh, everything has its own thing. So what we're going to do, instead of going and copy and pasting column 1, column 1, column 1, 12 times in each div, we're just going to do a for loop in HTML. So div ng4, and we're going to say let item of brackets dot constructor, and we're going to do parentheses and pass in 12, and it's just going to run it 12 times. So now we can say let i equal index. And for each div, the class is going to be column-1. And it's going to do it 12 times, so you're going to have 12 columns. And we can say column-curly-brace-curly-brace, curly brace, and we can use that i variable now. So it's going to start at 0 and end at 11, so we want to do i plus 1. You can actually save that, and you can see we have 12 columns in row 2. And it stretches all the way across the board. And I will show you the row, and then you can see the dotted lines has all the columns. So now let's actually get into some real world examples. So let's put that image beside the text. And we want to say div. And once again, you can try to beat me there. We'll say class row. And inside this row, we're going to have another div. And instead of a six or six, we're going to do column dash eight. Now, 12 minus 8 is 4, so we have 4 columns left. So let's go ahead and do that as well. So we say class column dash 4. Then we're going to put an image in here. So let's say image class 
width dash 100. And this bootstrap class will basically just say, hey, this whole column, put the image in it and make the, make the image width this whole column, basically. And we'll say src equals assets slash images slash pick. Now I have this over here on the left side of the project and you can go ahead and put your own image and your own directory in there. So that's all we need for the image. And for this, we're gonna say align self-center. This will uh, center it vertically. And we can just say some motivational statement. So we see this all the time on a lot of websites, whether you're shopping or ESPN or really anything. So if we just tab over, you can see we have the image and then the text to the right. And now a lot of people will put some kind of, maybe you have an added cart and it shows a picture of a Nike shirt and you have some, some stuff explaining and then the colors of the shirt and the size of the shirt and added cart. So you can see that a lot of real world examples use this structure. Next we're gonna put some rows inside of rows. And I'm actually just gonna copy and paste this. It's easier for me to explain it and then to just code it and explain it. So basically what you're gonna do is you're gonna have a overall div and it's gonna be a row and then you see we have the text like we've done every time. And we're gonna have two columns, right? So it's gonna have a column six with the left side of the page and then the column right, which is the right side of the page. So you can see here the first column, I'm sorry, the first column and then the second column. And then inside this column, we're gonna have rows. So you're gonna have three rows that span on six columns. And then you're gonna have three rows that span on six columns, which is the right side of the page. So if we save it, tab over, you see that you have the six column structure and I'll try to select it here. And you see the left side is row one, row two, row three, and the right side is as well. And now you can keep on going with this if you wanted to, and you can put more rows or more columns. You could continue to do, put another div inside of here and say, this is class column three, and this is inside row two, column three. And you see here that inside row two, column three, and it spans half of the column six. So if you inspect the element, you can see that the purple is the right side, and it'll go the whole way, half the column. The last thing I'll show you is some custom CSS. So if you organize it correctly, this is the cool part. You can say dot row, and maybe you wanna make all the column ones background red. And you see here that they're all red. Maybe you want to do it to the column fours only. Or maybe you have a table like this in right here and you just want to do only row column threes. So we can say column dash six and then dot column dash three. Move this to there. And you can see it's red. Cool. If you have any questions or anything, definitely feel free to comment and I'll see you in the next video.